Good morning, traders. So how do we trade the Dow Jones today? Now, I've got the weekly up, and uh, for those of you that only watch my Dow video, you'll see I have a new moving average in. It's really just a 40 EMA, and um, it's something that I've been experimenting with and finding some pretty interesting results as how price reacts to this moving average. So on the weekly, you can see we had this rejection pretty much off the uh, 40 EMA, and we've had another rejection off the 40 EMA, and we're starting to have a little inside bar. Um, still a lot of indecision, but uh, you know, there is potential for a move to the upside here. If we look at the daily, um, the key thing that has just happened, well, I suppose it hasn't really happened properly, but uh, we are breaking through this level, this downward trend line. Okay, now if you remember, I mentioned this a, a while ago that we have a consolidation triangle here. Okay. So we're looking for a break of it, because if we do get a break, this thing is at least going to travel. Up to this level here. Okay, I'm just going to tidy it up. Um, I suppose we should actually just do it more conservatively and put it on the 20 moving average. So a proper break of this will give us the 20 moving average. Uh, with, uh, could happen today, it's 260 points away. Doubt it'll happen today, but there uh, is a possibility. All depends whether Trump tweets anything today about the trade war, because today is a deadline for trade tariffs. Okay. Um, and I think we're also non-farm payrolls today as well. So let me just double check that. Anyway, while that's loading, uh, let's get down to the four hour. Okay, so four hour, you can see a, a little bit of a clearer picture that we are breaking. Okay, we have stayed above the 20 moving average, and you can see how the 40 is now starting to take control of price as well. So that's pretty much um, what we see here, and uh, I'm kind of optimistic that. Uh, we should be long. So I was long yesterday, uh, was hoping for a break last night, got stopped out, got back in, and uh, got stopped out again. So yesterday was a bit of a frustrating day on the Dow for me anyway. But uh, I have just got back in long again now, and I'll show you now why. So, okay, so we have the tariff announcement happening now okay and we also have I don't see is unemployment rate I don't see oh there it is yeah so non-farm is today as well we've got non-farm payrolls today we've got a couple of other horde of US data and uh, and we have the uh, The tariffs that have actually just gone live now as well. So there's a lot happening at the moment. Anyway, uh, let's just get on to this now. So it should be quite a volatile day. Okay, um, looking at the hour. So we have had a We've had a break of uh, the closing range over here, which is what's put me in long. Okay, so I'm long on the break here with a stop um, pretty much below below this level here. Okay, and you can see here we had a, a gap down and opened up there. Sort of gap, we opened here and closed up there. So we didn't really get a close below this level although we did get a gap down. So I've taken the trade to the upside. I've ignored the signal to the downside. This is a bit of a stronger signal to the upside. And I'm looking for us to break this at this stage. 
Okay, might be wrong. Might actually just bounce off here and come all the way back down to here. But uh, be that as may, I'm in here and I'm looking for the breakout target here, um, which you can see almost coincides with this inside bar here. And then I'm looking for target two, which ties up with over there, ties up with this inside tail here. Okay. So that's kind of uh, the trade that I've got in at the moment, and um, I'm expecting a little bit more of the same. So let's just delete this here. I just want to highlight something else here. We have another triangle which was formed here, which has also broken to the upside. Okay, now this should be from here to there. And then, well, depends how you do it, but from there, uh, or alternatively from the middle, or from where we broke through. But uh, I'm just going to be conservative and put it there. So this should be the level that we should be aiming for. Okay. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm watching this with interest, pretty much. So we're going to see what happens. Uh, at this stage, it's not looking like we're going to get through here. It looks like we've hit it that level and we're bouncing back. Uh, but the speed at which we've broken out of this is uh, obviously somebody knows something around the trade uh, the trade announcements at the moment. And uh, I can't see anything on the news right now, but uh, obviously somebody knows something about uh, what's going to happen with the trade tariffs today. And it's clearly not uh, in a negative sense. Anyway, uh, that's kind of what I'm looking at today. I'm looking for a break here. And the other thing that we're also looking for, well, that has happened. Let me just tidy all of this up. So we've also had a break of this fractal level. Okay. So lower high, lower high, lower high, higher high. Okay. So we've now had a break of this fractal level which is a, a bullish signal. So to me, the simple of this is that should be the next target there. Okay, now let's just tidy it up because there is an inside tail at this level. So that should be our first target. And then we must have to wait and see what happens at non-farm payrolls. But, uh, but yeah, I think key element here is going to be this is pretty much we've got each one of these highs to get through before we can actually get moving and have a, a proper trend change okay so guys that's uh, that's my take on it I am sitting long at the moment uh, probably by the looks of things it's not a good idea I just sat in my hands but anyway I'm, I'm long on the break my stop is below this level here and we'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, uh, be safe, enjoy the day, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys later. Cheers, man.